Park Ave and Ashburton Ave for a male slumped over the wheel. Dark Chrysler. I'm ready to go. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. OK, turn the car off for me. Just take the keys out of the ignition, OK? We're not PD. Yeah. What's going on, sweetheart? OK, what's your name? Hi, Van. Can we get you out of the car and take a look at you? We arrive on scene. The guy is in the driver's seat, and he's kind of reclined back, and he has a friend in the passenger seat. I can't figure out what's going on at this moment. I think he's either intoxicated, or he's overdosing, or he's had a friggin' heart attack. I don't think that he's just sleeping. Not in the heart of Yonkers. All right, so let me check you out. Uncross your legs, just relax. Look at me, look at me. Mm. You have look. a pinched neck, pinched nerve in your neck? Yeah, uh, yes. Look at me, open your eyes. This is the no. You have pain anywhere else? No. 88. Now, how long have you been dealing with this pinch nerve, man? Week and a half. What are you taking for it? It's telling me that your blood pressure is high. Other than Oxy, you take any medications? Yes. Um, Hypertension, anxiety. All right, we're going to take you to the hospital, all right? Can't figure out what's going on. I'm riding this one, all right? Something is not right. He's aware enough to answer the questions, but he's not with it. He has pinpoint pupils. He admitted to taking Oxy for pain in his neck. What's going on, babe? Because you're in a lot of pain, honey. What's happening to this guy medically that whatever he's taking could interfere, could potentially, you know, could make it worse. I know talking may be a little difficult for you right now, but I just need a couple more things out of you, all right? Uh, Alex, was he having spasms when you were back here? What kind of spasm? Caesar looking like them, them, them. I might take this. It's making me nervous. All right, there we go. Them, them, them. You gonna run the line? Yeah, I'm gonna pop a line in just a okay. little. Honey, I'm just gonna put a, an IV in your hand just for precaution, okay? No. No? We just gotta have it just in case something happens. All right, my friend, you're gonna feel a little pinch, okay? You're doing great. Relax, relax, breathe, breathe, relax, breathe, breathe, breathe. You're, doing, Don't Don't you're doing great. Ooh. What's happening? Okay. Stay in your arm out. Oh, man. Come on, relax, relax. You're doing great. Right. It's in. That's it, we're done. That's All it. Done. All right. Beautiful. All right. It's rock and roll. OK. All right, we out of here. And we're off. See ya. Thanks, Dave. You know where you are right now? OK. You know what today is? So today's not Thursday. Today is Friday, my friend. There's just something not right. He's presenting as if he's on narcotics of some sort. So, you know, I put an IV in just for precaution, just in case Narcan needs to be administered en route to the hospital. But is he having seizures? Is he having a stroke? It's medicine and detective work squished together. And sometimes it's frustrating because you never find out what was going on. We're here at the hospital, hon, OK? Watch your toes. Did you see any of the spasms I was talking about? No. You did? Yeah. Did you see how his friend was looking at us when we, when we were walking over? Because I said to him, we're not cops, we're paramedics. And he's like, ah. Oh. Definitely do believe he may have been on something. The convulsions made me a little nervous, but I don't think that was a thing. Yeah. I think that was just kind of a head tick. Yeah. I think he just took a cocktail of assorted medications. I didn't know if I would have to give Narcan, but he seemed as though if I woke him up anymore, he might be extremely yeah, agitated. Take, yes. You sound like he may have taken one thing with the wrong thing, got the reaction he was not looking for. 